doesn't help in time of need So you sing to him, come on Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders The me walk upon the waters Wherever you would call me Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander And my faith would be made stronger In the presence of my Savior What is three plus four? Check your answer here to earn fun pets. Before 
touch of
Canada. And the people speak in tongues if you can do that. Yeah, oh my God Almighty. I feel your strong presence in this room. I feel your strong presence in this room.
Hallelujah. We saw the Lord of God. You are welcome. Oh, to the faith clinic tonight. May the name of the Lord be glorified in the name of Jesus. David said in Psalm 34, verse 3, to magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt in him together. Let's go ahead and bless the name of the Lord and exalt his name tonight. He is the King of Kings. He is the Advocate. We exalt your holy name. Our Alpha, Omega, Amen. You are the Anointed One, the Balm of Gilead, the Bishop of our soul. We bless your name, the Bread of Life. We adore you, the King of Glory. We worship you, the Rock of Ages. We magnify you, our healing, our wholeness. We exalt you, we magnify you. You are our joy, the gift of God. We magnify you, Jesus. Messiah, the Lion of Tribe of Judah, the Lamb of God. Thank you, our Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. You are our Governor. We thank you, the Head of the Church. We exalt your holy name, the Holy One of Israel. We magnify you, the Horn of Salvation, faithful and true. Glory be to your name. Father, we exalt you, Lord. Magnify the Lord tonight. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be adored. He's the Prince of Peace. He's the storm calmer. The shepherd and bishop of our soul. He's our joy. He's our chief. He's our buckler. He never sleeps us number. Glory be to your name, the King of glory. We exalt to Lord. We magnify him. The gateway. Be magnified. Adonai. Hello him, El Shaddai, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Jare, we magnify you, Lord. Glory be to your name. You are our helper, our master, you are our mediator. Glory, honor, all oh, the bright and morning star. Baba, we exalt you, Lord. We magnify you, our healing, our wholeness. To you, o Lord, be glory. Father, we magnify you, Lord. Thank you for seeing us through. The month of January, February, March, April, May, June, and where we are in the month of July. Baba, we magnify you, Lord. Thank you, Prince of Peace. Glory be to your name. The Son of God, the Most High, our teacher, the truth, the way, and the life. Oh, my brother, my sister, magnify the Lord tonight. Let's magnify him. The Word of God. He is the true vine. Mabasa Takaleda. Every am I sacrifice only tonight. And says our present help in trouble. Our help in the ages past. The age, the, 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 the Lord of us, Father, we exalt the Lord. Oh, the most high God, we are stronger than the strongest, better than the best. The Bible describes me that is surrounded itself with light as garment, walks upon the wings of the wind. It makes it beam of, of chambers in water. Hallelujah, we bless you, Lord. Father, we worship you, Lord. Thank you, so, the son of righteousness. You are the chief shepherd, the chief cornerstone. To you be glory, to you be honor forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Father. Thank you, Savior. Father, we are grateful for giving us this opportunity tonight oh, to call upon your name, Father, accept our praise and worship. In Jesus' mighty name, we are worship. One more time, I say welcome to Faith Clinic. I pray the Lord will increase your faith always in the name of Jesus. As you have come to seek him, you have not come to seek man, but God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. This is the early period of this month. As you have come to seek him, he will meet with you at the point of your need, even tonight in the name of Jesus. Our anchor scripture for tonight is taken from Isaiah chapter 41. We'll be reading from verse 10. He said, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Hallelujah. What a great promise of God. This God, this word in Isaiah 41 verse 10 reveals God's nature and character. What is saying to us that God is willing and is able to help us even tonight. And God will surely help us in Jesus' name. Are you there searching for help? My counsel to you tonight is to have faith in God. God is the source of all solution. That's Luke 1, 37. 
and he has not changed. Malachi 3 verse 6 is our authority on that. He loves us with everlasting love. That's Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 3. And again, God is the one that called us from 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. He drew us into his kingdom. And God is faithful. He can't draw us and leave us alone. That's why Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God stand ever ready to bless us and help us more than we could imagine. Glory be to the Lord. My brother, my sister, tonight, therefore the question to you, what is standing between you? What is standing between you and your head? And we will take a word from Hebrew chapter 13. We're looking at verse 5 and 6 together. He said, let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And that verse 6 is that our anchor point. So, so we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear for what can man do unto me. Hallelujah. It is very glaring from that scripture. And one of the things that the Bible is pointing out that could be a stopper is our home belief that God is with us. Of course, again, we could see there too that ingratitude is a stopper. So tonight, as you come to the throne of grace for help, it is my desire that we hold fast to that belief that God is, is with us. He is bigger than whatever may be going on in the world, maybe in our lives, in our family, in any situation. Our God is in control. That situation with you, God is bigger than that situation. And number three, don't lose the vision that God, don't lose God, the vision of God, majesty and greatness. He made the whole world. The created cannot be greater than the creator. And again, because he's the giver of good gift and perfect gift, we need to be grateful. Even that little thing that is still with you, that's with me tonight, who we'll give thanks, who we'll show gratitude to God, who we'll do away with fear, who we'll do away with worry, and God will show forth our present help in trouble. Could it be your marriage? God is bigger than that issue. Could it be that business? God is bigger than that issue. That's what the Bible is saying tonight. Could it be that body in your heart? You couldn't even share with any mortal being. God is bigger than that thing in your heart. Could it be COVID-19? God is bigger. He has paid the price over 2,000 years ago. Why the Bible said, by strife we are healed. He has been bruised for our iniquity. He was wounded for our transgression. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And the Bible recorded, by his strife we were healed. Tonight, we want to call on God. Just like that Hebrew 13.5 says, that's do away with covetousness. And we've been able to identify that with ingratitude, ability to give thanks to God. Today is the second day into the month of July. Can we look back and thank God for what he has done for us in January up to date? Because you are hearing me, it's because he sustained you. Can we thank him? Whatever the agitation in our heart tonight, I want us, I want us to set this aside. Jesus did that when he was faced with a situation and the Bible says when he needed to feed thousands of people, the Bible said there was only two, two fishes and five loaves of bread. The Bible recorded that our Lord, he picked it up, look up to heaven and give thanks unto God. A miracle happened. Do you desire a miracle tonight? I want us to start with thanksgiving to God tonight. Thank him. Shall we go ahead right now and begin to thank the Lord? Let's thank him for the new month the new life and new sources. Let's thank him for safety. Our Father and our God, we want to say thank you. Our refuge, our fortress, we thank you. I want to thank you for your power and your work in our life. Thank you for amazing grace. Thank you for your blessings over us. Thank you for safety. Thank you for provisions. Thank you for healings. Thank you for testimonies. Thank you for divine intervention. Please go ahead and thank him. Thank him, thank him. The Bible said he never sleeps nor slumber. Why? He watches over us. I want us to go ahead and thank him. Thank him for the salvation of your soul. And if you're out there and you are here to know Jesus, 
It is time to surrender to him right now. Come to him and say, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. He paid the price for your sin. It is out of gratitude you can recognize and come to God. And I'm sure tonight as you draw close to him, he will draw closer to you. He will watch away your sin. I want you to go ahead right now, you, my brothers and sisters, go ahead and bless the name of God. This is a new month, a new beginning. We have just crossed over to the second half of year 2020. Many are gone. Not that we are better than them, but it's mercy. The Bible says it's of his mercy that we are not consumed. Our homes are not consumed. Thank God for your wife. Thank God for your husband. Thank God for your children. Thank God, even if they are not there, thank God for it in advance. Is able. Thank God for that thing you are able to eat. Some have food, they cannot eat. Some can eat, they couldn't have. But you and I, ah, let's thank God for that little. He's God. He has been faithful to us. That's our God. Let's thank Him tonight. Thank Him for snares He has broken in our lives. Thank you for disappointing all the devices of the crafty. Let's go ahead and thank Him. Let's thank Him. Thank Him for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the gift of Holy Spirit. Thank you for those gifts. Ma, Baba, we want to say thank you, Lord. You are good. You are kind to us. Thank you for trouble that has delivered you. He is God because it's our light. The Bible says, our enemies, the force, and the wicked came to eat our flesh. But God, his light came on us and they stumbled and they fell. Thank you for disappointing the devices of the crafty, for not making their hand to perform their enterprise on you. Thank you for safety. Lord, we give you praise. Father, we thank you for being our portion. He said, the land has fallen to me in pleasant places. If God has not been on our side, let me say, what will my story be? But thanks be to God, who have not left all us to the desires of our enemy. Father, we give you praise tonight. Thank you for those desires in my heart. Thank you for those things you have done. Even those things you have not answered. Lord, I give you praise. I know, my God, that you are able to do a seeding abundantly more than I can even think or imagine. That's according to the power in us, and that's the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you, Lord. We give you praise, Lord. Accept our praise and thanks in Jesus' mighty name. We have given thanks. We want to pray through scripture tonight. And I want to go ahead and ask God for mercy. That whatever it is, as mentioned, it could be gratitude. It could be fear, it could be unbelief, it could be lack of faith. Let's go ahead and ask God, please have mercy upon me. Whatever will not allow you to send help now, Lord, please let your mercy, let your mercy remove right now. Shall we go ahead? Lord, we ask for your mercy tonight. Oh Lord, have mercy upon us, oh Lord. Whatever unrighteousness in us, whatever could be a stopper to our prayers and answer tonight. Lord Jesus, have mercy, forgive us, and cleanse us by the blood of Jesus. Thank you for our righteousness and justification, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. The first scripture we are praying through tonight will be taken from Exodus chapter 33, verse 14. It reads, my presence will go with you, and I'll give you rest. I want us to begin to commit your journey to the month of July to the evil hands of God. The Father, let your presence go with me. God present guarantee rest. Whatever that may be agitation and intimidation in your heart, begin to ask the Lord, let your presence go with me. Yes, Exodus 33, 14 says, my presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Ask the Lord tonight, my Father, my God, let your presence go with me into the month of July. Let your presence, even as we have crossed over to the second half of this year, I ask the Lord, let your presence go with me. Let your presence go with my family. I want us to pray for his presence in the church of God. Let's pray for the presence of God in Nigeria. Father, we pray for your presence, O Lord, because in your presence there is fullness of joy. And the Bible affirm me tonight that you grant us peace and rest, O Lord. Father, let your presence go with us. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. My brothers and sisters, are you in need of safety and protection? He's ready to help us. And that's why we can log into Psalm 32. I will take from verse 7 and 8, the two verses there. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Let's go ahead. Let's commit him to his word tonight. Father, ah, safety and protection. 
Let it be sure over my life. Let it be sure over my family. Let it be sure over all your children. Let it be sure over us in Promisa, by extension to Lagos Province 47, and all your children all over the world. Let your safety and protection be sure over us. Go ahead and ask God now. Is there any area you are feeling you are exposed? Ask God, you are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble. You will surround me with songs of deliverance. Are you into any battle right now? Ask the Lord, give me songs of deliverance. When Pharaoh was pursuing the children of Israel, God parted the Red Sea. While Pharaoh and his host and chariots were drowned, God delivered the children of Israel and gave Moses songs of deliverance. Ask God tonight for songs of deliverance over your enemy, and he will surely grant us in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, for songs of deliverance, songs of victory over our enemy. Let your safety and protection be sure over us in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord, even ask Lord, and I've been lifted up for students, for some set of students to resume. Are you afraid? Are you scared? Ask the Lord for safety. He has promised us that no evil shall come near our dwelling. He will watch over our children. He will watch over us. Is there about your career? He will watch over us. Ask God for safety. He is our sure safety. He will protect it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. There are a lot of rumors out there. COVID is raging. Economy is showing not good figures. But I want us to cry to God from Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8, that even as we have stepped into the second half of this year, the Bible says, it is the Lord who will go before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. What a great promise of God. Let us cry to God tonight. That's Lord, this second half of this year, let it be better than the first half in the name of Jesus. That's it, when God goes before us, he will make every cook every straight. It will smoothen all the rough surfaces and rough edges. Ask the Lord, please go before me. Are you thinking? Are you into any new thing, new business? I ask the Lord, please Lord, go before me. You are my maker. You are the maker. You are the creator of heaven and earth. Nothing is hidden from you. Lord, go before me. Ask the Lord, let it go before. Whatever the decision and policies, whatever what the government is saying, our God is bigger. Whatever that situation is saying about you, could it be your health? Could you be your business? Could you be your marriage? Could you be that you need revival? In this second hour, as the Lord go before me, make it better. Are there any aspirations that are under this fulfilled? Your goals and plans you made at the beginning of the year, and this is second half of the year. It seems nothing is working out, but God is faithful, asking to go ahead of you into this second hour. God of mercy, Ask God for help tonight. Daddy, please go ahead of me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Lord, we give you praise. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Are you there? What is that specific need? Maybe you are there tonight. You are sick and you need his help. Maybe you are in need, you are in, in any lack, you need God's help. There is a one solution for all. I find in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. He said, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are saved. What is that thing that is chasing you? What is causing that unrest, anxiety, and fear all over you? What is that thing that is bringing confusion? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I want you to go ahead tonight. I want you to call on God. If you need healing, call on him, Jehovah Rapha. He is our healing, our wholeness. He is the son of righteousness. Call on him. The Bible says the righteous run into him and is saved. Are you in need? Call on the all-sufficient God, the great shepherd. Say, will lead us in the path of righteousness. Make us to lie down in green pastures. He said, will make us to go to where the stream is cool. Ask the Lord tonight. Are you in any battle? Call on the Lord of hosts, who says in, in, in Exodus 14 that he will fight our battles and hold our peace. Are you in any spiritual battle? Call on him, the God who says, even the lawful captive shall be delivered. He will contend with those who contend with you. 
and he will fight with those who fight with. He promised that they will even eat their own flesh and drink their blood as wine. Are you into any issue? Is there any depth anywhere? Our God owes silver and gold. Call on him. Say he's able, he's ready to take heaven and earth to make your power change hand. Ask the Lord tonight, come into my situation. Come right now, almighty God. Come right now, the king of kings. Come right now, wonderful counselor. Remember a man in the Bible? He was blind. He called on Jesus. Jesus, that son of David. And the Bible said, Jesus to see. Heaven and earth to see for him. And he got his miracle. Call on God now. He is the son of God. The Bible says he came here. Don't you know the, the, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ? He was rich, but because of us, he became poor and to his poverty that we might be rich. Call on him. What is that poverty? Doing your life and my life. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, the richer than the richest, that poverty shall be terminated. Ask God for wisdom. Say, I'm the one that gives her the power to make wealth. Ask the Father to unlock every mental lockdown. God will unlock it tonight in the name of Jesus. Is the vision God? As God is the creator, is the one that can make a vision clear. He will make you to see better, brighter than Father. He's the Father of life. As God, shine your light in that situation. Are you confused? He said, He's not the author of confusion. Bible says He's the author of peace. Ask God, the Prince of Peace, to bring His peace in your life. Bible says He will keep you in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on Him. Is there any anxiety? Is your job checking? Call on God, the Rock of Ages. The Bible says, if we stand on him, he said, rain will come, flood will come. He said, the wind will blow. He said, but the house will stand. That is those who take his word. Can you swallow his word tonight and believe him that he is ever ready? In Isaiah 41 verse 10, that he will help us. No matter what the situation over there, call on him to step in right now. He is able to do, he is reliable, and God is dependable. He wants us to run unto him. He will not cast us away. Ask the Lord to step in right now. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Or maybe you are in the valley of decision. You are seeking God to do something new. In Psalm 34, verse 10, the B part. Those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Call on him. Remember in Isaiah 43, from 18, he said, forget for my thing. Behold, I will do a new thing. Ask the Lord tonight for that new thing. Ask the Lord to bet new thing in you. Are you boss to a corner? Ask the Lord for that new thing. Because he promises him, behold, I will do a new thing. Believe me, he's by your side. He is here. Where two or three are gathered in his name, he says, no, I Ask him tonight, Lord, bet new thing in me. Bet new thing in me. Ma second robo shetedia. Ma lebo sotodia kali bravaku rabo sato. Thank you, our Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Do you need revival? Are you weak? Spiritually? Is your prayer life going down? I want you to call on God tonight. Let's pray through First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 11. He says, seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. As you seek him, the Lord will release a fresh strength on you. Mm -hmm. Even the Bible said in, in, in verse 10, when Elijah was running away, God was merciful. He revived him. Are you weary? The Bible said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Call on God tonight. He is the almighty God. Say, Father, release fresh strength into my life. Ask God's strength. Are you there? Mother, wife, Father, husband, ask God for strength. Are you a minister of God? You need a fresh touch of God. Ask God, touch me afresh tonight. Touch me afresh. Or maybe you, you, you are any form of captivity. Remember Jonah, even while in the, in the belly of the feet, he cried to God. God commanded that feet. He vomited him. That weakness will vomit you and your strength will be renewed. Ask God for revival. And let's ask God for revival in the body of Christ. Revival in promised land. Let's ask the Lord, let your light shine over promised land. Let it shine over promised land. Ask the Lord, expose every plant you have not planted. And Lord, approve them in the name of Jesus. 
Lord, we ask for the outpouring of your spirit upon us in promise that in our family, the Bible says, the enter you will pour your spirit upon us. Lord, pour your spirit upon us in the name of revive us. Give us strength again, O oh Lord, even in the place of prayer, in the place of waiting, in the name of Jesus. We need strength now. That may be locked down, but your words stand ever sure. That which you evangelize. Lord, we need new strength. We need new strategy. How to go about it, Lord? Please, my Father, we need strength. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And I want us to go ahead and ask God for help. Is there something you are believing God for? Hmm. The numbers may not be hiding up right now, but the Bible says this our God is all sufficient God. He promised us in our anchor scripture today, Isaiah 41, verse 10. They say, I will help you. Is with us. I want you to begin to present those things to God. Maybe those things you could not discuss with any mortal, but with God, the Bible says in Luke 1 37, all things are possible. All solution comes from Him. He's God. Talk to Him tonight. The Bible says in Malachi 3 says that He changeth not. The same yesterday, today, and forever. He did it yesterday. As the Lord Father, I know you are faithful and true. Come true for me today in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And lastly, uh, I want us to pray for every member of Spear of Joshua. Oh, sorry, every, every member of Promised Land. Beginning for the set man, Pastor Femo Bawaya. I want us to pray that no matter what is going on around us in the society, the Bible says, if we shall not come near us, that only our high we used to build and see the reward of the wicked, that nobody in our midst will be missing. By the time this lockdown is over, every one of us here, none of us will be missing, which shall be complete. Shall we go ahead and begin to ask for the mercy of God? Far and near, outside and inside the nation, wherever every member of promised land, Lord, we ask that your divine protection will continually be upon us. Ask the Lord that he will immunize us, laminate us, the Lord will keep us, he will keep evil far away from us. No infection, no disease, no sickness, no death in the name of Jesus. And ask the Lord, we may not be meeting physically, ask the Lord to create that body to seek the Lord, even in our closet, that in this season, nobody, nobody will be missing. Nobody will backslide in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Father, we give you praise tonight. We adore you. Let's go ahead and thank him. He's our God. He's our true helper. Let's go ahead and bless his holy name. That even as we are step into this new month, his help is sure for us. And it will make us winners always, victors always, and not victim in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We will continue with our worship tonight. And it is time to give our offering. It is time to give our God the best tonight. It is time to appreciate him who has sustained us. This year, it has been turbulence, but you and I, God has made way for us. Let's appreciate him tonight, even as we package a worthy offering and we bless his name. Shall we go ahead and begin to package worthy offering to the Lord? Hallelujah. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him at his word just to rest a 
upon his promise just to know the saith the lord jesus jesus how i trust him how i've proved him more and o'er jesus jesus precious jesus oh for grace to trust him cleansing blood just in simple faith to plunge me neath the healing cleansing flood Jesus Jesus how I trust him how I proved him more and more Jesus Jesus pray Jesus, save your friend, and I know that thou art with me, will be with me to the end. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him. various uh, channel to give. I want us to believe God tonight. That God our heaven will step into our situation. Shall we pray on those offering? Father God, you are the giver of all good things. And your word makes clear that every good and perfect gift comes from you. We ask that you accept these gifts, these offerings, tithes, and use them to your glory. Just as you multiply the offering of each and the loss that you are freely given for others, we pray that you multiply this, our offering to you, and accomplish with them more than we could ask or imagine in the name of Jesus. We give freely to you tonight and not from compulsion, for there's nothing we could give that matches your glory and majesty and the great gift of your son, Jesus Christ, and of the Holy Spirit. We guide us daily. All we have is yours. You gave us power to make wealth. Father, we ask that you will use us and all that you have as we will. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for his help tonight. And I pray that soon you are the next online for testimonies. Hallelujah. Our God is great. And it's good. He is faithful. And as we continue to seek him, he will move us from glory to glory, strength to strength, in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, and it is well with your household, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will continually show his mercy on you, and you will continue to rejoice with his presence in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. And let us begin to thank God for tonight even as we bring the service to a close right now. Our Father and our God, we thank you for your mercy and your love. Thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord, for backing us up, O oh Lord. To you alone be glory, to you be honor. Thank you, Lord, for testimonies. Father, please accept our praise and thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, is there any power, principalities, and personality that may want to stand against our answer prayer, just as you sent angels 
Lord, to rescue Daniel and what you have prepared for him. Father, please, Lord, in all ways, please rescue us. Let us receive speedy answer to our prayer tonight in the name of Jesus. And your name alone will be glorified. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. We worship you. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Shall we share the grace in the fellowship? Want to go? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God, goodness, and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the ass of the Lord forever. Amen. Shalom. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you, dear. Everyone needs compassion, love that's never failing. The mercy for all me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a savior. He is mighty to say forever, author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. So take me as you find me. Take me as you find me All my fears and failures Feel my life again I give my life to follow Everything I believe in Now I Sing it for the glory of the risen King.